Hello and welcome to Red Stapler channel. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how I created an animated 3D mini RBMK nuclear reactor core using just HTML and CSS. Ready? Let's check it out. So first, let's start with the control rod. I'm going to create dips for three sides, top, front and left. The other sides are not visible, so I will leave them. Then we will use the same technique with previous tutorial on how to create 3D progress bar. We will use CSS transform on each side to create 3D shape. I'm going to set the top side color to blue as working in 3D can be confusing. We will replace it with real texture later. Then after all sides were set up, we will rotate the core and create a 3D perspective view. Now the control rods are aligned in octagon shape. The grid layout is perfect for this job. There are lots of online tools that could dramatically save your time for creating complex grid area. In this tutorial, we will use grid.layoutit.com. We will create 5 grid areas to create an octagon shape. Then for each grid area, we will set rows and columns accordingly. Looks good. Let's get the code. We will copy this into our page. We will need to place the control rods into each grid area according to the layout we have set. Next, I will copy the CSS. We we'll also need to add Preserve 3D Transform Style to every grid area to keep the 3D transform effect. Also add grid gap for spacing between rods. Next, I will add a core cover. You will see that adding new div messes up the grid layout. This is because our grid template is using fraction unit, so it dynamically adjusts the size according to the container width and height. We can fix this by change them to pixel. Next, we will use clip path property to change the cover into an octagon shape. Again, there is a tool for this job. Clippy is one of the best clip path maker that I use pretty often. Just pick the shape and copy the code. I will also add a shadow to create depth. Next, I will add another div to create a floor.
I will also add box shadow to create depth. Now you will see that our square shape is having some skewing effect. This is because we haven't set the perspective distance yet. So let's set it to 2000 pixel. Also change the background color. If you look at the real RBMK core, you will see that there is some color mark rod. So I'm going to use Photoshop to create basic texture and put them into the project. Then create class for each color and apply them to the rods. Finally, we will create a shaking animation, which can be done easily using Translate C. I will create three different levels of shaking. Then apply them randomly to the rods. And that's all for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy. If you like this video, don't forget to like or subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.